To all of my DIYers, non-DIYers, and DIY enthusiasts, welcome to the Crafty Nana channel. And the Crafty Nana 2020 Year in Review. I know everyone can't wait for 2020 to be over, largely due to the pandemic and its fallout. But looking back over this past year, with all of this uncertainty, there has also been some good things that have happened personally for me. My sister, Ms. K, my actual sister, who has a fantastic channel which has tablescapes, shopping hauls, and other how-to decor, her channel link is in my description area, talked me into starting a YouTube channel. Here's my first DIY challenge. It was an open invite, inspired fall or Halloween DIY hosted by Ellen and Jenkins DIY. What a fabulous way to begin my YouTube journey. I loved participating in the challenge I don't think my pumpkin centerpiece came out too shabby either. There were many fall challenges and collaborations throughout 2020. One of my favorite were the foodie challenges hosted by DIY with Nadia. Pictured is my take on a pumpkin. I also had an opportunity to participate in the Get to Know Me Fall Tag hosted by Lady Cinnamon and a wood entertaining Hosted by Gigi Faison. Here was my attempt at my wood uh, by decorating my box and added wood beads and so forth. So I hope you like the way it came out. Some of the other collabs and challenges I participated in were hosted by Glam Elegant Living Society Collab. The Kiss DIY Challenge hosted by Melissa Make It DIY. The Useful DIY by Mom Does Life Handmade. And of course, Sunday Fun Day hosted by Ginger Chick Rehab and Yanni and Diane from Deco Easy. So it's been a busy year. I pray that the open collabs and challenges continue throughout 2021. Not only are they fun, but they allowed me to meet some wonderful people through YouTube like Miss Betty, Shayna from Shayna's Home DIY and Crafts, and Grandma Sammy, and many others. Thank you all for your support through this journey. I also had an opportunity to share some of my favorite DIYs that weren't a part of challenges and collaborations, like my three-part snowman series. The winter challenges and collaborations were a great way to close out the year. The most fun video was Baby is Cold Outside, posted by the Daughters of Destiny. In that video, you had an opportunity to see my elf socks. The traditional Christmas red, green, and gold tablescape was really cool since I had an opportunity to share my snowman hat centerpiece. Participating in YouTube talk with Denise Jordan has also been another good thing in the information she shares on her weekly calls has helped me identify things I was doing wrong and right to help grow my channel during 2020 and to continue to grow it in 2021. The How to Read Purpose of Lantern video was my most watched video for 2020. If you haven't seen it yet, the link is in the description area. My son-in-law also started a YouTube channel called Matter of Opinion. He's that handsome one on the left. I'm so proud of him. One of my best friends got engaged. I had an opportunity to create a special wreath for her and her husband to be. And my daughter moved into a new house. I was so happy to create this Christmas ball wreath for her and her family. I opened up and shared my home with you all. So I'm going to keep my head to the sky as 2020 rolls out and embrace 2021 as it rolls in because it can only get better from here. Thank you for allowing me an opportunity to share my 2020 with you. Please like, subscribe, and share to take this journey into 2021 together with the Crafty Nana channel. 
because we can get through this together. From the Crafty Nana channel and our family to yours, have a healthy, happy, and prosperous new year. And remember to add a touch of love to